Hi everybody, it's Jordan Davis again. Thank you for clicking on this video and welcome back to my channel. Tonight we continue with our Eurovision 2008 reaction series. We are on to ninth place. Remember, we start with the top 10 this week. We move on to the bottom 10 next week. So ninth place at Eurovision 2008 was an artist by the name of Boaz or Boaz. It was Israel, the artist was Boaz and the, oh, excuse me. <laughs> and the song is The Fire in Your Eyes. Now y'all know I love Israel and Eurovision. Hey, Israeli friends, shouts out to y'all because y'all are real nice. But I love Israel and Eurovision. So I'm really interested to see what this entry is about. Their entry last year was super crazy. Push the button, it was in the bottom 10. Um, but it was wild and it actually wasn't too bad to me. So I, I quite liked it. So I'm interested to see what this is about. Oh, side note, y'all, I wanted to tell you, over this weekend when I was taking a break, I watched a little dog and this dog, I just took her back today. It was just like, you can watch a dog for a weekend from the shelter. So I just picked her up on Friday and took her back tonight. But she was so cute. She was just the sweetest little thing. And like, she was horribly scared. Like she was scared of everything. But she opened up a little bit more over the weekend and it was really a great time. I'll insert a picture here. Um, her name was Sarasota, but I just called her Sarah most of the time. But it was so sad to see her leave. I have to admit, I did cry a little bit, y'all. I, I am very in touch with my emotions and I cried because it was sad. She was such a good girl. And you could tell she had been through like an unfortunate past and so I just tried to love on her as much as I could while she was here give her a lot of pets and things like that so it was fun I don't know why I felt like telling y'all that but I just did um because I like telling y'all stuff and sometimes it's not Eurovision related sometimes it's dog related or sometimes it's a random other things related so anyway but back to the video let's go ahead and get into this and see what Israel sent to Eurovision 2008 it's crazy that we're already in 08 that means it's been like six weeks since we started this. Anyway, let's go ahead. Oh, Donna International wrote the music and the lyrics. Ooh. Come through vocals. Ooh, come through vocals. Come, oh, come through Hebrew. I love Hebrew, so beautiful. Is he like behind the stage? I think so. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, he is beautiful. <laughs> I'm a fool. He really is though. Handsome man. Wow, this is pretty. I like the flow of the lyrics. Mm. God, I love Hebrew. Mm. Wow, I was not expecting this. It's a pretty chorus. But it like bursts into, the, it like blooms into this like hopeful, Melody, whereas I thought it was going to be darker. I like it. Boaz. I'm confused. I thought Boaz was the artist. And he is. You know there's an anthropologist named Franz Boaz. I don't think he's um, Israeli, but I wonder if it's any relation. <laughs> Probably not. Oh, he got a good looking crew with backup singers too. Mmm. I wish I had a lighter right now. This is pretty. So pretty. Come on, Boaz. Oh, that was pretty. Oh, what are they doing? <laughs> oh, they're just moving ecstatically. I was like, what's going on? Listen to his voice and those runs.
Look, there was a little slip up there, but who gives a fuck? He did great. We all make a mistake. Ah, oh, beautiful. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you in a second. Thank you. Thank all of you. No, I enjoyed every second of that. That was so pretty. Oh my God. That was just such a pretty melody. It, it started off as this like dark ballad. So I was thinking it was gonna be a dark melody, maybe a dark melody that was really like booming, but it ended up not being that. It ended up being this, it ended up kind of blooming into this hopeful flower of a melody. And I really liked it. It was a lot lighter than I thought. It was a lot more hopeful than I thought. And I liked it. Um, and when I say melody, I mean melody and chorus. The, cor the melody of the chorus was this more flowery, hopeful type tone as opposed to the darker verses. So I really liked that. Um, what is Boaz doing today? <laughs> His handsome ass. What is he doing today? Because if he's making music, I would like to check some of that out. Is he still a big artist in Israel? Let me know. Um, because I could imagine him being like he has a great voice. Something that all what I was gonna say earlier was like something that always like mystifies me is Middle Eastern uh, melisma. It's just so out of this world. All of those. What do they call them? Not just semitones, like the microtones, just the little nuances of between notes that singers have mastery over that just makes everything sound so vastly more complex and more quick and the speed with which they can navigate these complex runs. It's insane. It always mystifies me, never fails to mystify me. I love it. I love it. So I appreciated um, both the ballad-like performance and the deep ethnic vocals like this the ethnic vocals never went away and i loved that thank you again israel thank you israel for really never letting me down um i love y'all shout out to y'all you sent another fan fantastic entry and i'm so glad it was in ninth place this year because that was really fun to watch and it really it makes it just made you feel good something about that just makes you feel good so anyway you like this video again just like this video comment below i want to hear your thoughts on this and how it placed and let me know if you have any more information on the song or the singer and then if you want to subscribe please consider doing so i would love it if you did if you would come with us on our reaction journey so anyway thank you again for clicking on this video thank you for watching this video and as always i'll see you next time